So I've been chosen in my past. I have been predestined to my future and I have been adopted and accepted in the beloved in my present. Well, why should this matter to me? What is the cause of all that to be done? Well, he tells us in verse six, look at it, to the praise of the glory of his grace. I wanna help you right here for a moment. You have been chosen, predestined, adopted, accepted in the beloved. And that all should add up to a praise that comes out of your mouth without being coerced, manipulated, pumped up, primed, or otherwise twisted into doing. Ladies and gentlemen, far more than the car you drive and the house you live in, to know that I already have a predestined plan that God has outlined, that the devil can't do anything about, I'll walk in that because I've been chosen. I don't know how you feel about it, but I just came to tell you, when you look at your real blessings, the spiritual blessings that come to every believer that the Father has outlined from the foundation of the world, that ought to cause you to praise him right in the middle of the day, driving down the road. Come on, somebody. Without any choir, without any song, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Why? Because I was one time not adopted. At one time, I was not accepted. At one time, I wasn't chosen, but now, it's all mine. 